Jesus Christ, I look like every video game box art from 10 years ago. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel once again. This of course is another fine episode of terrible awful news. So at this point I really don't need to describe who Onision is to you, I'm pretty sure everybody uh, knows uh, now. I've talked about him, every other YouTuber's talked about him. The Pope probably keeps his name on a list somewhere in the Vatican. Not a very good dude, Onision. Now I have recorded this video like three times now because uh, the first time I was drunk and tired, the second time I was well, tired, but that's just always. But uh, then some major breaking news uh, hit the case and I uh, needed to re-record. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's been a while since we've all discussed Onision. It's been um, probably since before the pandemic, back when Chris Hansen was busy fucking everything over. And you know, it's understandable. Really, we can only focus on one horrible virus at a time. So everybody kind of let Onision slip from their minds and that's, that's understandable too. But Onision's back, ladies and gentlemen, and worse than ever, to be honest. Yeah, about a month or so ago, it came to my attention. Someone let me know in the sicko discord I believe that Onision is uh, is on Twitch now and um, you know I, I didn't want to talk about it because it's Onision why would I bother talking about Onision but uh, then it reached a little bit of a head because he got fucking verified by Twitch Onision was verified by Twitch. Now, of course, the big news that forced me to re-record this video a uh, third time is uh, that Onision has since been unverified. It seems that they've corrected their mistake, so hats off to Twitch for that. But allow me to take you on a little bit of a ride through Onision's Twitch anyway. I guess consider this a victory lap, I suppose. But I'm actually also going to come at you with some opinions that you might find a little bit controversial, but we'll get to that. So in addition to his Twitch, he also has a TikTok now, as well as a uh, Periscope, which I'm not saying are both hotbeds of weirdo predators, but I mean... <clears throat> Looking at his TikTok, he appears to be making mostly harmless stuff. There's a couple of weird sketches on there that I guess are supposed to be funny. They aren't. But there's a new girlfriend in those sketches, it would appear. Some new young blonde woman has uh, drifted her way into the Onision compound. I mean household. And Kai also makes a stunning return in those TikToks as well, where they just kind of stand in a hallway for a little bit and then walk away. It had kind of the same energy as uh, Chris Chan getting his mom to tell everybody that she's not dead. So that's, that's pretty interesting. But you know, we're mostly here to talk about the Twitch. So uh, me and a couple of friends had looked through the Twitch previously and uh, it was, uh, as you can expect, uh, not the best content on the website. Hey there, boys. Edit Wing Dork here. Sadly, some of his uh, his past streams seem to have been removed. We don't get to see him making like a weird fucking bizarre rap song with his chat. Um, we don't get to see his, his talk quote unquote with Leafy. So looking through his list of streams is very sad and pathetic and watching them is even worse because uh, he just kind of drifts from one trend to another. He plays GTA, he plays like Valorant and Bobungus and all of the other big games and anything that's popular on Twitch. He's got no personality. He, li he lends no commentary of any great import to his to his gameplay or anything. If you weren't watching him because it's Onision, you would not be watching him play games. A lot of the time in his streams, he just kind of sits there and stares and the, the chat is like, the chat is like five people max. Keep in mind Onision has like fucking two million subs, multiple channels too. So he's got like at least probably three million subs cumulative. And he's getting about five viewers on average per stream. He's getting like five to 10. It's very slow paced chat, very slow. Uh, so that's pretty sad. And yeah, there's just long stretches of, this, of the, the streams where he'll just be kind of sitting there, kind of waiting for the stream to begin. He's like perplexed that more people aren't pouring into his stream. And he's like, hmm, well, we better just sit here until more people show up before I do any content. That'll be good. In one stream, he titles the stream like the worst Karens or something. And you would expect it to be him looking at Karen videos. And at some point in the stream, he does, but it takes over a fucking half of the video for him to get to that part of the stream. Before that, he's just kind of sitting there, staring. 
occasionally talking with the fucking one message every two minutes. And of course, when he actually gets to the Karens, it's not any better. You'd think that his commentary might lend something to the stream. But uh, it's, I mean, every video he just calls it fake. Uh, at one point he tries to like act out how it's fake, I guess, and he flips over his chair. It's pretty weird, I don't know, just watch. This is not a real thing, this didn't happen. I'm an actor, okay? I am an actor. I can, I can go, you know, let me show you real quick, okay? Let me show you acting. Stop, right now, right now. Stop! Okay, that's acting. See? Funnily enough, when me and my homies were watching that initially, uh, I told Bear to clip it. As it turns out, Onision really only allows, like, verified, trusted users to clip his Twitch streams. You wouldn't want anybody to take you out of context there, Greg, and put you in court again, would you? At one point in the Karen stream, he accidentally, like, clicks to his desktop, and it's just fucking full of pictures of himself. Just every icon on the desktop is just pictures of himself. It's... It's pretty much what you'd expect, actually. He does try to be funny during his streams, because, I mean, I think he fancies himself a comedian or something, and, uh... If you've ever seen my video about how bad Onision's comedy is, you probably have an idea for how bad his attempts at comedy in these streams are. He kind of puts on these bizarre accents and they're not like, I'm not like offended by the accents, that's not the problem, it's more that they're just non-specific and non-funny. At this point in time, I would like to let you all know as a reminder that uh, Onision's daughter fell out of a window last year, a two-story window, uh, while he should have been watching her. Uh, but instead he was busy tweeting weirdo daddy dom on main shit uh, on his Twitter. Yeah, if you thought that that uh, experience might change him or force him to reflect in any way about what's gone on, uh, you're a stupid dumb baby bitch lad and I hate you. No, uh, he's basically just continuing on course. Nothing has fucking changed for Greg. Uh, so yeah, it's it's as if it's as if his daughter basically never existed. That's good parenting right there. In one stream, he gets raided by Leafy of all people, and um, he talks with. First of all, the chat fills up for about five minutes with like ASCII dicks, and then even Leafy's like raid chat gets bored by Onision streams and they fucking leave so the chat slows down real quick. But then Onision actually talks with Leafy and uh, or at least he says he does. That's the going theory is that he talks with Leafy because uh, we, we don't actually get to hear Leafy in the stream. I guess Greg, sorry James, was just a little bit concerned that uh, Leafy might say something that would implicate him in another one of his crimes. And yeah during all of this we just see Greg. We don't get to hear from fucking, we don't get to hear from Leafy. It's so weird to have a one-sided conversation on a stream that's just I've never seen that before and congrats to Greg for being so narcissistic that he actually created a new thing good job at one point later in the leafy stream he uh he's playing Grand Theft Auto and he has to like this was just we were just like randomly jumping around to segments of the stream and at one point we found him having to pause the game to explain to chat what a groomer is, what the definition of groomer is, which, I mean, that's pretty par for the course for most game streams, I think. That's how you know he's not guilty of anything, is randomly stopping the video game to talk about completely unrelated stuff about how he's not a sex weirdo. So of course, I recorded a video about all this. In fact, I recorded two videos about all of this. And uh, here I am on the third because, like, a day after I recorded my last one, Twitch realized the mistake that they had made by fucking verifying him. I don't know who at Twitch decided to give him the little fabled fucking check mark of wisdom, but they did. And thankfully, they've removed the check mark, but. Is that really such a good thing? I mean, yeah, o Onision is a horrible, horrible piece of shit, but. He didn't really do anything wrong on Twitch, you know what I mean? And this just kind of reinforces Twitch's weird policy of they will take you down even if you haven't done anything wrong technically on their site by their rules, which 
I think is a little fucked up as a Twitch streamer myself. Yeah, they probably were right to get rid of Greg's check mark, but getting rid of his monetization? Because they did that too. I don't know, that seems like it might be going a little bit far for someone who hasn't actually broken any rules on the website. To be honest, they probably just shouldn't have verified him to begin with and they would have avoided this whole situation, but given that they did, I feel like, I don't know, I guess this is the best option, but... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's bad when Twitch just kind of yeets people based on complete off-site things. Well, that's about it. Onision was on Twitch for a hot minute. They verified him, probably not noticing who he was. They seem to have corrected that mistake. They kind of had to yeet someone for not actually breaking their rules, but it's better than having him be monetized and checkmarked on Twitch. So, good job, Twitch, I suppose, but... Maybe don't let this be a precedent for everybody. Until next time, this has been Deadwing Dork, and I'm gonna go make love to that Godzilla figure. Shoutouts to my $20 and up Sicko Army Patreon friendos, Rick Fastly, Brent Thornton, Zach Carter, Spooky Skeleton, Ian Terpenning, Delta, Maraid McCory, Taylor Bailey, Some Jagass, A Little Tripper Alyssa, Scott D. Serino, Langley, Seth Stardix, Andrew Waddle, Kinetic Socks, William Efting, Tyler, Carrion Storm, Evil Betty, Tesseract, and my top boyos for the month, Magos Nameris, and uh, the newest top boy, Xylax. Thank you both very, very much, and thank you all uh, on the Sicko Patreon very, very much, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Take it easy, folks. Penis.